Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading a Kanat Chuxas Nair by me. So let's get into it. It's very rare that the two of you get these quiet moments together, given how much responsibility weighs on our shoulders. But when you do it, it feels like the world shrinks down to just the two of you. You lean against him, your head resting on his shoulder, as you watch the colors of the sunset dance across the sky. His arm is draped over your waist, holding you close, and there is a comfortable silence between you, a silence that feels natural, easy. I could stay like this forever, you murmur, you murmur, your voice soft as the warmth of his presence swaps around you, and it chuckles his deep voice rumbling in his chest. You say that every time. He teases, pressing a kiss to the top of your head. Not that I'm complaining. I feel the same way. And you look towards him, catching the way the fading sunlight softens his features. His eyes, usually so serious, are filled with warmth as they meet yours. And before you know it, you're leaning in. Your lips meeting in a gentle kiss, slow and tender. The world around you fading into the background as the two of you lose yourself in the moment. The kiss deepens naturally, your hand sliding up to cup his face while his fingers slowly weave through your hair, pulling you even closer. It's not rushed, not desperate, just two people sharing a quiet, intimate moment, away from everyone and everything else. You can feel his heart beating steadily against your chest, a reassuring rhythm that grounds you. But then, the soft click of footsteps on the path behind you broke the peaceful silence. You barely have time to pull away before a voice cuts through the air. Well, this is quite the scene. Your heart jumps into your throat as you whip your head around, and standing there with a smirk is Mulani. Her arms are crossed, one eyebrow raised as she surveys the situation. The amusement is clear in her expression, and it's quite obvious that she is enjoying this far too much. Mulani! You gasp scrambling to put some distance between you and Kinech, your face burning with embarrassment. What? What are you doing here? Mulana chuckles, shaking her head as she steps even closer. Oh, you know, just taking a walk by the river. Didn't expect to walk in on the TV so busy. Kinech clears his throat. Sitting up straighter, but clearly unfazed. He's always calm, even in situations like this. And you're grateful for it. Because your own composure is entirely and completely gone. We were not expecting company. He says, his tone polite, but with a hint of warning. Because no one gets to disrupt this time. Not when he was having so much fun right now. Clearly, Mulan your pies, her smirk widening. Though I have to admit, I never took you for the romantic type, Kanetch. You can feel your face getting hotter by the second, and you groan inwardly. We were just enjoying the sunset. You mumble, trying to salvage whatever dignity you have left. Well, Annie only raises an eyebrow. Is that what they call it these days? You can't help but let out a small laugh despite your embarrassment, and even catch his lips twitch into a smile. Sometimes, as sweet as she is, she could be quite relentless with her teasing. And deep down, he knows she's just enjoying the rare opportunity to fluster you both. Well, I should give the two of you some time alone and leave you to yours. 
sunset gazing. She says, a twinkle in her eyes as you say that, and you know that she will never let you live this down. Cadet Triley chuckles, shaking his head. Yes, Wani, we were only just enjoying the view. The view, right. Got it. Carry on then, but next time maybe pick a more secluded spot. You watch her go, still feeling the heat in your cheeks, but as soon as she is out of earshot, you let out a breath you did not know that you'd been holding. I can't believe that just happened. Kenich laughed softly, pulling you back into his arms. She's going to tease us about this for weeks. I'll never hear the end of it. He groan, burying your face into his chest, and he strokes your hair. His touch gentle and soothing. It's not that bad. She's simply having fun. You peek up at him, noticing the amused glint in his eyes. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Kenneth chuckles, pressing another soft kiss to your forehead. Maybe a little. You're impossible. You sweat at his chest as he presses another soft kiss to your forehead. Mm, maybe, but you love me. And you can't help but smile. Yeah, I do. And despite the interruption, the peacefulness soon returns and you settle back into Kenichi's arms, feeling the warmth of his body against yours. The sun is almost fully set now, the sky painted with the last hues of pink and orange. And as you lean your head on his shoulder, the world feels impossibly small and safe again. I suppose you'll have to be more careful next time. He says after a moment, and you smile against his chest, closing your eyes. Definitely. And he hums in agreement. The two of you sit there. The quiet of the evening wrapping around you once more. And despite the interruption and more honest teasing, despite the slight awkwardness of the situation, there is not a single thing you regret about this. And you would do it all over again.